What's going on everybody, it's Delmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I had when I was a little kid and I'm sure many of you had as well. And that is, are we ever going to be able to convert what we're thinking about into actions that can actually make a change in the real life? Meaning that if we wanted to change, let's say the TV station, maybe you wanted to turn off your TV, perhaps you wanted to control your favorite game, but just having thoughts about doing that and that might seem crazy today, but there is actually a company that claims to be able to do that. And that's the device that I'm going to be reviewing today. This is the NextMind Dev Kit. It's supposed to be basically a brain sensor that sits right behind your head. There's multiple pins that are getting the information from the visual cortex, which is what's responsible for processing anything that you see through your eyes. And then this information gets decoded by using very complicated machine learning algorithms. And I'm saying that because I am sure that it's really complicated. And then that information gets sent to either your computer or any device that you're trying to interact with. So I'm going to start by opening the device. We're going to be looking at what's inside. I'm going to go through the calibration process. And by the end of the video, we're going to be looking at how to integrate it into Unity. And then I'm going to be answering the question, is this device for real? Does it really work? So make sure that you stick around because this video is going to answer that question. The first thing that I want to do is I want to show you what comes inside of the next mind dev kit. We're going to be looking at the sensor itself, which is this circular little computer. There are multiple pins that are going to be resting against your skull behind your head. And it also comes with a head strap. So we can use this to you know, size it depending on the size of the head and also a USB-C cable if you wanted to connect it directly. If you want to use a head strap, this is how you do that. And basically has a clip that attaches to it. I can also size it if I wanted to make it bigger or shorter. And it also sits very comfortably on your head. You can also use it with a hat. This is how I'm going to be using it for now on because I always wear hats. And let's see, I'm super excited about this. Next, my logo comes up. Let's go ahead and mute this because we're going to need to listen to what I say. And then it's going to walk you through, you know, pairing the device. I already went through that process. You have to press the A button for four seconds. And then that light, it's going to, the B light, it's going to start blinking. I'm going to just select the one that I already connected. It's going to walk you through the process of setting it up. I am not using the head strap. I'm using my hat and basically using a clip. So you can do it either way. And then this step is going to tell you where, you know, if the sensors have contacts on, on your, basically the back of your head. But okay, it looks like we have a perfect, perfect contact. So let me, go, let me go ahead and click next and focus. So how to calibrate your dev kit, you will be shown three green lines. So we're going to be focusing on certain area. I'm going to stay focused on that area. Jetta powers. All right, so it looks like I got the calibration part done. So there's a couple examples in here that we could test. Let's go ahead and try the TV. See if I can use my magic power. Select your channel. Okay, so activating, select your channel here. Let's do the earth. We can see the earth. There we go. I gotta make sure that I concentrate when I talk. Okay, TV, I'm activating the TV. Let's do the news. Okay, let's do the news. There we go, the news. Earth. Show me the earth, TV. Show me the TV. And that last one, I think, is just a shuffle. And I'm going to try to do this one right here. There we go, and it's hiding those. So pass on your controls. Let's go ahead and, and pause it. Okay, let's try and pause it here. And we're passing with our brain. This is awesome. Okay, so if I wanted to mute it, let's try put music in here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit play again. Ridiculous power of your imagination. I'm gonna mute it. Directly. And we're muting the, the TV, this is amazing. Let me pause it. And we're passing the TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn and toggle the sound again. Okay, and let's go ahead and hit play. As you guys can see. So let me go ahead and... Also, of course, clips it. Let me go ahead and mute this again, and then we're gonna go back. All right, so we're back in the main menu. We did the we did the Neuro TV. Let's try the platformer. I think the platformer will be cool. And it's gonna walk you through. This is a tiny adventure. I want music though. Oh, how about that music? 
press left or right on the arrows to move. Okay, so I'm moving it with my keyboard. Press up to jump. Okay, so that's my, my arrow keys. Okay, we're gonna move that up with my mind. All right. Ah. Focus on enemies, let's go ahead and blow it. Die, there we go. Gonna keep jumping. Okay, we're gonna kill that enemy, focus on that enemy, and we kill the enemy. Okay, I need to bring that down so that I can beat this level. Let's keep focusing on that. I think we can reach, there we go. Now we need to bring the other one down so we can get up the platform. So I'm focusing on that one and I'm going to, there we go, need to bring that up. Okay, come on. Focus, focus, my mental powers. And let's kill the enemy. Hey, there we go. Oh, we got some, we got life. So I need to concentrate to get life. There we go. Nice. And I don't know what I need to do here. There we go. To concentrate on that. There we go. And I move that up. Oh no. I didn't concentrate, guys. I need to concentrate. And I'm gonna go down. Okay, you're gonna keep going. Let's kill that guy. Oh! I need to kill the one on the air. There we go. That wasn't that easy because I was too distracted. Okay, I need to kill that one. And we beat the level! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta say this, this is amazing. Okay, so that's another, and then they have multi, basically multiple ones. So let's try the Brick Breaker and see if we can play Brick Breaker as well. So next to star, okay, let's focus. Oh, this is, so I need to move into that, those specific sections. So I need to move it to that area, oops. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, so focus, focus, focus. There we go, I did it. Okay, to be honest, we need, just need to focus as much as we can. Okay. Focus, focus, focus! Yes. Okay, where's it going? He's going that way, he's going that way, he's going that way. Focus, there we go. Okay, I think I had enough of that. Let me go ahead and go back to the main menu. All right, so the next one that I'm gonna do is gonna be the pink pad and it's gonna basically allow me to generate a random number, so 7106, remember that. Seven, one, zero, six. Hey, system will log. Okay, that was pretty cool. Let's try, try a different one. Okay, so we have the last one, let's see, showroom. I think there's more, but, so wireless sensing. Let's go ahead and concentrate on that area. And then, so basically you can use these pinpoints to, to look at the device that we're looking at. I wanna look at wear and play. Adjustable, wearable, cool, high-end technology. That, this is so crazy, I'm amazed. So we can basically run an interaction by just you know focusing on these different areas. So that's pretty cool. So now that we have that and we look at some of the demos, can we use this in Unity? And that might be the, the question that you had. So you can down, basically download the package here, get, get the Unity SDK. I already downloaded it and I have a package here under my downloads and I also created a Unity project already, so I'm gonna show you. So all you need to do is just download that Unity package and then just create a, just create a new project. So there are two different scenes in here in Unity that you can test with. One of them is gonna be the Hub and also the Hub VR. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, the Hub right now. And I also want you to look at the Nero Manager. They have an option in here to, do, to simulate the device. If you wanted to simulate it, I'm not gonna simulate it, so you can see that that is the same device that I basically set up in the initially. So if we go next, it's gonna say, okay, we have that device connected. And then next, you're gonna see that we have, you know, it's attached to my hat, so it looks like it's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And we can go through the calibration process, so we can do what we did before. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus 
on that point in the middle, just to make sure that I can calibrate it to Unity as well. Nice, and we successfully calibrated the device with Unity. So now what I'm gonna do is let's see if we can try some of the interactions that they have. So it gave me a score of three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and proceed. I think that's fine. We can explore some of these demos. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the cube because if we focus on the cube, we can go ahead and move it. And I got superpowers. I was able to move the cube. Okay, let's try another cube. I'm gonna concentrate as much as I can. Okay, we can do. So it tells you here the confidence, the first encounter, you know, if you change the value. Uh, we can basically attach to neuro tag on confidence change. I haven't really done a lot of it with a lot of coding with this. So we're going to be just playing around with this. And, and then on the next video, I'll show you more about using this in Unity. I'm gonna go ahead and focus and see if we can do. So the more, the, the more that I focus, the more reaction that I get in Unity. Let's say we're integrating, they're integrating visual effects. I'm focusing on that area, focusing, focusing. Awesome. So you can create all kinds of visual effects using confidence value. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So this one is the animation. So doing an animation depending on the confidence value. You can see that, that's cool. Okay, so that's pretty neat. Go ahead and go next. What if we focus on one on the left? See what happens on that one. Okay, we're raising the bar on that one. I feel like a guy from Marvel with superpowers. I'm gonna do the one in the middle. And there we go. And the one on the right. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do next. See, so trigger, maintain, and release. So I'm gonna go ahead and trigger the button there, highlight it. Okay, so I was able to activate it. And then basically we activate the, the light and the scene. Okay, so here's a lot of different cubes. Let me go ahead and concentrate on that. This one right here. And I exploded it, awesome. There's a little bit of delay, you know, from the time that I'm concentrating to where it actually happens, but I'm really, really impressed. So let's try this one one more time. So this one is basically changing the size and then changing the size. So this is how this one works. There's also a VR one that we could go ahead and try. Don't save. All right, guys, well, we're running this in VR now. You can see the calibration process. It's gonna walk you through that same experience. And my device is connected and then all the pins are, you know, correctly positioned on my head. And then we're gonna go and look at and see if we can concentrate here. And we successfully calibrated it in my Oculus Quest 2 as well. So let's go ahead and try one of the experiences to see if this works. It's, it gets me an okay score. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next. I think that's fine. We can go ahead and discover. Let's see if we can move that cube with my head, with my brain. You can see that that actually works. And let's try the next one. Let's keep concentrating. I have superpowers, superpowers. Come on, concentrate more. Okay, so that, that's pretty cool. Let's do the next one. Okay, this one is basically making some changes on the cube. And it's using that confidence value depending on, you know, what it gets. This one, we can basically move the cube on the left. I'm gonna keep doing it. How about the one on the right? So at the beginning of the video, I said, is this device for real? Is this a marketing thing that this company, Nextmind, is trying to promote? And I'm gonna say that this is no, by no means any lies. This is real and this device is amazing. It really blew my mind when I was testing this device and actually going through the experience. So if you're thinking about getting the next mine for extended reality and game development, hands down, make sure that you get it because it really is going to blow your mind. So if you guys have any other questions about anything that I just mentioned in this video, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys.